back in the 90s and maybe even a little bit the early 2000s, you, you would have different music that you would hear on, on, on Christian radio or get on Christian CDs versus what you were singing in church. Like it wasn't all kind of similar stuff, mm -hmm. you know, um, like for instance, in the early 2000s, you had artists like, you know, Skillet and Switchfoot and like Reliant K and, and, and artists like that where it's like, you didn't sing a lot of their stuff in church. Like that wasn't common. It was in the know? offertory then, or the special, but it wasn't sung during the congregational maybe, portion. Yeah. Maybe like, maybe not even that, like you would hear it in youth group, maybe, you know, but like, but then there was like worship music that was like easy music for the congregation to sing. And, and I don't really, you know, as, as long as the theology is solid and it's not heretical, I'm, I'm fine with that. Like my argument isn't that congregations should sing super complicated music necessarily. Um, it, it's, it's that when you merge worship music and like Christian music, like when you merge those two things together, which is what has happened in recent years, then you lose what is great about both of them because oh that's good what you, what you, that's good right there <laughs> so so what you lose what you lose from worship music is that now the songs need to be more about us and they're not as much about god and worship music is about god like that's what it's supposed to be um and so like when you merge those two things now the songs start to be a little bit more like about us and stuff like that and then with like christian music which should be separate right like there should be christian music that's not sung in church i'm fine if 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 people write like christian music that's about like uh, their own experience yes. or you know what I mean? And, and that's fine. You know, that's great. As long as they're coming from a Christian worldview, which is what we do. Right. Um, and so like, not all of our songs are, are like so-called worship songs, like with worship lyrics, but now you've merged that both into it. And the issue musically that you get as well is that the songs on Christian radio need to be able to be played by an amateur worship team. And so now like you've limited yourself completely musically because most amateur worship teams, like I'm not trying to insult people. Like these are people serving the Lord, but they're not professional musicians. Like they're not like, you know, most good music shouldn't be super easy for you as, as a person who is not a musician to play, you know? Um, and so what you get now is you get, these like four chord songs preach jesus be, deserves because because they have to be played by a congregation right they have to be played by like people on a worship team 